Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. This week we will see what we can do because, again, nothing new in the update. A few things, uh, pistons lock now uh, when above 100 meters per second, uh, when you are faster than 100 meters per second, um, because there was problems with them exploding and all that stuff. And they fixed that by locking them in place when you, uh, yeah, when you move too fast. That is okay. K in my opinion, uh, better than have them explode <laughs> and all that stuff. Uh, other things, uh, mainly bug fixes and some improvements when it comes to multiplayer. So we have a yeah we have a different problem right now. Um, the clown is back. This guy, the Argentavis, is back. And I'm in the middle of repairing stuff because this time this thing did something I didn't expect. Um, I didn't notice that. Maybe because my sound is down, we will go and uh, repair that in a bit. Uh, change that in a bit. We have to repair this here. The clown attacked my station and and he got even we have some, one loss to to mourn <laughs> we lost the small ship we captured um for some reason it ex it exploded i didn't see any close by drones so i don't know what happened there but we have yeah i suffered major damage and just realized that because um this gravity generator was gone this one was back there somewhere and um, yeah it was uh, destroyed together with all these blocks around here i didn't take a look if other things were damaged so i noticed this is damaged too we lost some solar panels we will have to repair and then we will have to think about a way how to uh, weaponize this station um to add some rocket and maybe Gatling Towers just to yeah never have that happen again uh, I, uh, I I took a nap <laughs> in the uh, in the meantime and oh, this nap kind of uh, didn't bring the solution but I think we will add some conveyors to here uh, open this up and have some weapons put on the side of this tower because i thought about it we can't put some on top of here and we might add don't know a gatlin or something like that here oh by the way let us let me show you this here uh, this is a bug that happened <laughs> uh, these are not see-through anymore, but when you go far away, suddenly this reappears. Must be a problem with DirectX 10 or something like that, I don't know. Didn't notice any uh, too crazy bugs. Oh yeah, one, one crazy bug that I still have is I went um, and gathered some resources with the, with the machine. Worked out perfectly. I think I will not add more drills. Um, this thing is fast enough to to dig out everything. Problem is the the asteroids disappear for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I was don't know watching a video next to it or something like that. But uh, the asteroids kind of don't appear on the screen. I see some parts of it and then the textures just cut out and don't show the asteroid anymore. Maybe you can say if you have the same problem in the in the comments or something like that. I don't know. It was weird because digging was not possible. You couldn't see where everything was and yeah, bizarre. So I, other things I did. Um, let me show that before we start 
arming this station. I hope that it just disappears again, but again, we will we will have to protect the station, and so some weapons might be necessary. I finished the hangar behind the door. We can go inside now. The doors are back. That's a good thing. We can we can open and close the doors again. Problem is that this thing now doesn't react as fast as it was before. So the timing is off now. Very, very much off. Um, we get uh, yeah, hallways not flooded with oxygen. So mm, weird stuff. I, I don't know. Maybe again the, the algorithm or something like that is is borking out there. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we will just have to keep our helmet on. Uh, at one point, it just starts to fill the rooms. I switched out some of the doors. Good thing is the doors, again, they work now. So we can take a look at these beauties here. These doors are really, really nice. But still, the oxygen didn't work. I don't know if it's, again, uh, a problem with don't know with uh, it not accepting the doors as closed or whatsoever uh, you can see this here maybe it's because of the damage that could be possible too but I don't see any damage in here so I'm assuming that it is not uh, that so this um, it also could be the sizes of the rooms that now the the system has to calculate and fill i don't know but see this uh, hangar is ready i didn't fix up these lights by now so we it's still a bit dark in here let me see no that is even darker <laughs> i hope you see enough mm. in here nothing did change still the problem with the vanishing glass here and I also switched out the doors in here yeah I just did that to um, yeah to be able to fly through the doors when I wanted so these doors are all closed maybe the ones up there no as here you can see that now we have oxygen it just takes time I don't know but at one point then the calculation starts and it fills the rooms yeah, maybe it's really a problem with the oxygen algorithm calculating all the stuff. I don't know. Works out. Neat thing. Oh, one thing that they updated and that I really like is that we now have bigger hydrogen tanks. So we should be able to fly around a bit more than what we had the last time. Um, they upped, I think, the big tanks by two and a half and the the small by four or something like that. Don't know. Good thing. <laughs> I had a comment about the, the lights on the tanks. And yeah, I noticed, I noticed that myself. Um, you can see the lights are uh, still on one come on give me the where's the this is so disappointing sometimes you can see that um we are on one light and we are at 43 percent it has to reach the the 50 per percentage to light up this light you can see that this one should be at 60 and it has two lights on oh, it's at 50. Yeah, it filled all the rooms, so that might be the problem there. It doesn't turn on the light. Uh, it only turns on the light when you have reached a certain number. So it doesn't turn on the fast, the first light when you yeah have oxygen in there. It just turns it on when you have 25%. Uh, when the, the whole tank is 25% full or something like that. We had the, yeah, we have the problem again that our oxygen is running low. 
with all the rooms to fill we get into problems there again uh, more ice I would say so I will have to dig in the meantime uh, and find ice but problem is again vanishing uh, vanishing asteroids I can't see where um, all this stuff is and then it is really hard to dig out stuff good let us go and start a bit of weaponizing hmm I noticed that I have will have problems here I will have problems here definitely maybe I can just do maybe I should even do that just have two arms one to the front one to the back because if I come on let me fly over here if I put something on top of the laser com I might have the problem that this thing um, doesn't connect to the satellite anymore so let's start out with just one weapon turret to the back, one to the front. Let me open this up here. I hope I don't evacuate all the <laughs> all the rooms in there. And if it's if that's the case, then I don't care. This thing doesn't open faster. <laughs> they said something about uh, it would open up faster now. I'm not so sure of that. Good guys at Keen. <laughs> I'm uh, normally not. Uh, yeah, or it. Yeah, it just opens faster. It would take longer if <laughs> there wouldn't have been this update. That might be also possible. Okay, construction components, interior. I need more construction components and small steel tubes. I will add them, uh, these by hand, these two by hand, and the next ones I will uh, use the turtle for. I hid the turtle in there because, again, the, this thing. There is another drone, and we will have to see that this thing doesn't attack us. At the moment... The refineries are at work because again I brought back some materials from a flight I did girders some steel tubes small steel tubes yeah here yeah. uh, I brought back some materials because uh, again I tested out the the drill ship and even although it was hard, I I was able to get some materials for us. Interior plates, okay. We will need some anyways, I think. I ah, know the the conveyors take steel plates. Let us just get some of these. So, otherwise, I'm... <laughs> personal life stories. Uh, I'm a bit sick. Uh, I, I don't feel too well at the moment. Um, I don't know what it is. But it must be, I don't know, a cold or something like that. Should we do Hmm, how how could we do that? Should we do the usual again and do the The only problem is that it is very big and it will be in front of these in front of these windows, but on the other hand we have enough space around it so we can just do one of these <laughs> one of these things that we are one of I can do one of these things that I normally build when I'm working with with weapons here okay let me bring in the turtle and see if we can finish 
this for now. The Argentavis is over there, so I hope that we finish. If we finish the this turret first, then if something attacks again, we will be at least a bit protected. So, okay. Oh man, this thing is so slow now. I'm thinking about, I could, hmm, maybe I will leave out the one on the bottom, but yeah, I'm not sure. Let us, let us do it and then see if it works or not. Okay. Yeah, bringing over the turtle here, it really, really, really makes sense. It was a good choice to take it with me. Now that the, now that the autopilot works. Oh, what, what am I missing? Now that the autopilot works, I'm definitely, I will definitely be able to fly them back and forth at least at least a bit easier because uh, again now I can just say okay fly me over there uh, the ship flies and I can go and don't know uh, make myself a coffee or something like that or hmm, it takes so long I could do the dishes or <laughs> something like that <coughs> ah you can hear that by the way sorry for coughing into your ears good let me fill up the turtle with stuff 